State Supreme Court Chief Justice Mary Fairhurst is stepping down due to health reasons. And so she will be replaced uh, with a new Chief Justice and then someone else will be appointed by Governor Jay Inslee. In fact, that appointment just happened. Tell us more about some of the changes going on in the Supreme Court. Uh, right, so uh, Chief Justice Mary Fairhurst is battling her third uh, bout of colon cancer, and she's worked through her previous cancer fights. Recently, she's been working well undergoing chemotherapy, but in October, she sent a letter to the governor announcing that she would step down in January, feeling that she just can't give the court the attention and energy and effort that it deserves, and so she'll step down. Justice Deborah Stevens, who originally hails from Spokane, has been selected to be the next Chief Justice. She'll be sworn into that position in, on January 6th. Meanwhile, Governor Jay Inslee has now appointed a replacement for Justice Mary Fairhurst, and that person is a Whatcom County Superior Court Judge Raquel Montoya Lewis, who it appears will be the first Native American to serve as a justice on the Supreme Court since its founding in 1889. Also, she will be only the second Native American Supreme Court justice in the nation. So she will also be sworn in on January 6th, and then she'll have to run for election in 2020 when uh, Justice Fairhurst's term finishes up. Right, so for the time being, uh, first Native American person appointed to the state Supreme Court, but as any judicial appointment involves, how they will rule, how is that maybe expected to affect some of the dynamics of the court, some of the rulings uh, in, in the things that you cover? Joel Connolly, writing in the Seattle PI.com recently described this court as a progressive court. It is a mostly female court. It's one of 10 or 11 courts nationwide with a majority of female justices. It's a court that has a uh, Latino uh, justice, uh, an openly gay uh, Asian American justice, and now the first Native American justice. So it's a diverse court, increasingly so. Um, it is a court that seems to trend to the more liberal, liberal or progressive. It's also a court where it's not unusual to see split decisions. They're not always unanimous. They're not always seeing eye to eye. I think specific to the new justice, Judge Montoya Lewis, she has an interesting perspective and background. She's been a tribal judge. She has a master of social work. And she said that she brings that view of systems and how people might arrive before her in a courtroom, kind of understanding their path and their journey and how systems may have failed them and why that might have contributed to the fact that they're now in a court of law. She thinks that state courts actually have something to learn from tribal courts, because one thing she says is that tribal courts understand that when a criminal defendant is in front of that court, that person is always going to be a member of that community. And so how they mete out justice and how they punish that person needs to be done so in the context that that person is a part of that community. Um, so uh, she also said that, you know, with technology changing as quickly as it is, it's important that judges be up with technology, especially in the context of things like search warrants, where police are now going to judges requesting search warrants for people's phones and digital data. Uh, and, and so she says that raises issues that require judges to be very aware of technology. So I think what you're going to see in this new justice is a very interesting and unique perspective, both because she's a Native American and because she has this social work background and because she's thinking a lot about how technology is affecting uh, the court system in London. You can read more of Austin's reporting on these and other topics at nwpb.org. Thank you for joining us here in the Unique Northwest.